Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Jess and I'm a stay at home mom of two. Today's video is another slow cook and speed clean with me video where I get dinner in the crock pot and then tackle some stuff around the house. If you guys enjoyed these videos on my channel, don't forget to hit that like button and let's get to the video. Today I'm making a ham and corn chowder in the crock pot. So I have some red potatoes and some corn. I had a little bit of corn on the cob left over from another dinner and I'm also using some out of my freezer and I'm using some leftover sliced spiral ham. So I used about six of these red potatoes. If you have a bigger family, you may need to use more. I'm just gonna cut them into bite-sized pieces. So in my crock pot I have my potatoes and four cups of chicken broth. Then I'm just gonna add in about half a bag of frozen corn and the leftover corn I had on the cob. I ended up using about two cups of corn total. And then I'm gonna get my ham diced up and add that in too. So I thought my camera was recording, but it wasn't. So into this I also added one cup of water. And then I seasoned everything to taste with some Tony's Creole seasoning, some white pepper, or you can use regular black pepper, some celery salt, some onion powder, garlic powder, and dried parsley. Then I just put this on low for about six to seven hours until the potatoes were tender. I also got some Rhodes dinner rolls into my pan to rise. And right before dinner's ready to eat, I'll throw those in the oven. So now to get to cleaning up this kitchen, I had just gotten back from grocery shopping and doing a grocery haul. That video is already up on my channel. If you missed it, I'll link it down below. So I've got to get all these groceries put away and then clean up the kitchen. I had to start by pulling out some of the leftovers and stuff that were taking up room in the fridge. I had meant to do this before I left, but I was in a rush, so I'm just doing it now.
Now that I've made some more room in the freezer, I'm gonna get everything in there that goes in there and also get the pantry stuff put away. My pantry is a disaster, but I guess that's what you get when you use a china cabinet for a pantry. There's only three shelves, so everything has to be stacked. I would love to replace this with something else, but this was Adam's grandmother's china cabinet, and we fixed it up and everything, and I would hate to get rid of it, and I have nowhere else to put it, so it's just gonna have to do for now. Next, I just headed over to our sideboard where we have all of our snacks and I also have my produce bins. I'm gonna get my potatoes put away as well as the boys' snacks. So now I just need to get the rest of the groceries put away and clean up this kitchen so that by the time dinner's done, it's all clean so we can mess it up again. By the number of shoes left by the door instead of put away in the shoe shelf like they should be, you would think 15 people lived here. There's also so much dirt and dog hair here daily from everybody going in and out. This is why we stopped using our front door because it was all in the carpet. The rest of the kitchen cleanup pretty much speaks for itself. I've got to get the table cleaned off, the dishes done, and I'm going to sweep the kitchen floor. And then I'm going to move on to the boys' bathroom.
Can anyone explain to me how two kids who need stools to even reach the sink are capable of spitting toothpaste six feet up in the air on the mirror? I have no idea. Now that the bathroom is done, I'm just cleaning up my desk area a little bit. Some junk had gotten thrown on here. I had too many notebooks and things. I have two planners because one's about to run out and one's about to start. So I just need to get this all organized so that later I can sit down and edit a video. After six hours, my potatoes were tender, so I added in one cup of heavy cream, and then I'm gonna get started on a roux to thicken this up. So in my pan, I'm adding in three tablespoons of butter, then I'll add in about three tablespoons of flour and get this all mixed up and let it cook until the raw flour taste cooks off. Then I just stirred in about a cup more of heavy cream until this was smooth but still kind of thick because I want it to thicken up my chowder. Once I got that stirred into my chowder, I added a little bit more Tony seasoning and some salt and pepper. Then I put the lid on and let this cook for about 15 minutes more to thicken up. And once our rolls came out of the oven, Adam just brushed them with some melted butter with honey. This chowder turned out amazing. Everybody loved it. I think Adam ate like three bowls of it. It was that good. I'll definitely be adding this to my recipe book to make again. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, we would love for you to join our YouTube family. So hit that subscribe button down below and turn on notifications. And we'll see you guys in the next one.